The Queen's House is undoubtedly one of the finest buildings in the United Kingdom. It's the only building left of the 16th and 17th century palace complex of Greenwich, and it's also the first classical building in the country. The basic ethos of what we were doing here was not to go back to a given period of time like the 1630s, but rather to bring back the spirit of that moment when the Queen's House was considered by everybody to be cutting edge. We went for quality and diversity. You'll see lots of paintings, prints, drawings, sculpture. You'd also see now textiles, ceramics, silver, all kind of personal possessions, which I think will bring the house alive. The masterpiece within the masterpiece is undoubtedly the Great Hall, which is the reputation of being a perfect cube. For the first time since Gentileschi installed the works in the ceiling, we commissioned a contemporary artist to do something bespoke for the house, but also create something that chimed with the kind of craftsmanship, the artistry, that anyone from the 17th century would recognise, and that artist was Richard Wright. The tulip stair is fabulous, it's iconic, and it's another first in the sense that it's the first self-supporting stair, and it has this wonderful, very romantic spiral. What I'd like is for people to walk into the space as people would have done in the 1630s, given that at that point the Tudor Palace still existed and how remarkable the Queen's House would have been just by sheer dint of its style.